I've been here early in my tenure as Secretary of State, but once was certainly not enough. But it's good to be back. Uh, it was important for me to return to keep uh, strengthening this foundational pivotal relationship in Southeast Asia. And Madam Minister, I, I want to say to you how much I've appreciated your engagement on the Afghanistan peace process. You mentioned this at the end of your remarks. Indeed, the world's largest majority Muslim country has much to offer Afghanistan on its road to peace and making sure that every Afghan, men and women, have all the uh, rights to which they are rightly deserving. Uh, we had a very productive set of discussions today. Of course, we started by talking about what's uh, affecting everyone in the world today, the pandemic that started in Wuhan. I want to assure the Indonesian people that we'll get through this difficult time together. We've been proud to provide roughly $11 million in U.S. government assistance, part of the more than $20 billion the United States has pledged around the world of public and private money for the global COVID response. Now, this is by far the most in the world. We continue to stay very focused on this important global issue. But perhaps more importantly, uh, the American private sector is doing everything it can do to produce an effective vaccine and therapeutics to beat this terrible virus to the benefit of both of our peoples and indeed to the world. Look, it's very natural that we work together. Uh, as I'll elaborate on in my speech later today, our deeper, longer-term bonds unite us as friends. We are vibrant, diverse democracies, and we honor religious freedom. We respect freedom of the seas, sovereignty, and the rule of law. These are shared visions for the world. Today, Foreign Minister Retno and I affirm the importance of keeping our shared values at the heart of our relationship and at the heart of a free and open Indo-Pacific. But this starts with our economic ties. We agree that the two nations with economies the scale of ours, the size of ours, should be doing much more trade together. There should be much more investment here from the United States, especially in the digital energy and infrastructure sectors. I'll do my best to help deliver that. Uh, a few weeks back now, uh, the head of our Development Finance Corporation was in conversations too. We are poised to use that American tool to promote private sector investment that can support. Terima kasih sudah nonton. Jangan lupa like, subscribe, dan share ya.